हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर सागर सातपुते आई एम इंटरवेंशनल रेडियोलॉजिस्ट एंड एंडोवेस्कुलर स्पेशलिस्ट अटैच विद फोर्टिस हॉस्पिटल एंड वी हैव लॉन्च रिसेंटली वेस्कुलर क्लिनिक विच इज़ वेरी यूनिक क्लिनिक फॉर ऑल वेस्कुलर पैथोलॉजीज पर से एंडोवेस्कुलर स्पेशलिस्ट और अ वेस्कुलर सर्जन इज नॉट फेमस अमॉन्ग्स पेशेंट बट अवर स्पेशलिटी इज फेमस अमॉन्ग्स डॉक्टर्स because a layman doesn't understand about his blood vessel related problems unless they are detected by some imaging but it is very common disease and every alternate person might be facing some vascular problem in his life for example peripheral vascular disease means simply blockage of arteries which is very common in all age group particularly above 60 in this disease arteries of legs or hands or abdomen can get blocked eventually patient suffer symptoms from difficulty or pain during walking to even gangrene or discoloration of toes also many times wounds or ulcers in the leg doesn't heal on time when we evaluate such patients we come to know that it's not only because of diabetes these non healing wounds might be because of vascular problems like blockages in arteries what we commonly call it as peripheral vascular disease or varicose veins whenever we do angioplasty of legs or laser treatment for varicose veins these wounds heal within no time simultaneously uterine fibroid is very common condition in females earlier treatment for uterine fibroid was only surgery surgery is still the current treatment option available but in selected patients we can do embolization that means reducing blood supply of fibroid the procedure is done through a small hole in hand or groin and through small pipes blood supply of uterine fibroids is reduced resultant the size of the fibroid decreases over 6 to 8 months and excessive bleeding or complications related to uterine fibroid they reduce within 6 months vascular malformation is very unique condition where there are abnormal blood vessels in skin or subcutaneous tissue or in muscles these vascular malformation can cause pain or they can bleed also the earlier treatment was surgical resection but it used to involve lot of blood loss during surgery because of lot of blood vessels involved in this vascular malformation with the recent advancement in vascular treatment in the form of endovascular embolization or sclerotherapy we can treat such vascular malformations by simple sclerotherapy or embolization which is again done by a simple a small hole within hand or leg an entire procedure is done without any cut or without any suture so in vascular cleaning we are going to deal with pathologies which are related to blood vessels and these are minimally invasive treatments where we treat all blood vessel related problems with a single hole or a small pipe without having any cut or any suture to the patient